I think it's very important that every artist seeks the kind of work that is right for him or her. But finding that person who can challenge you in a way that gives you a lifelong commitment to growth is sometimes a very difficult task. Coming upon Tom's work now, I need this kind of work at this point in my life now. Tom has underneath him supporting him this process of working. I was able to access things that I hadn't been able to and I, I didn't know what we were doing, but I knew that we were doing something. So it all seemed to start with Jung, Carl Jung, who talked about the elements of weight, space, time and flow. The sensing center, the intellectual center, the emotional center, the center of intuiting. Rudolf Laban took these aspects, weight, space, time and flow. And then you have Yat Malmgren. So Yat was a dancer, worked with Laban, used it as movement for actors. I heard people started talking in New York and Toronto about Yat Malmgren and his work. And I knew that he was no longer taking students. And I don't know why I had the nerve, because I was quite shy. <laughs> but I, I went to London. His very first student was Sean Connery. He went through Anthony Hopkins. He'd done it. So I spent quite a bit of time working with Yat on, his, on the approach that he was teaching his students. I would spend every morning writing scenarios based on my own life to free things in me. I'd spend every afternoon in his classes, and I would spend every evening being sent to an artist, a visual artist, a film, a statue, whatever, in order to understand the work. So the work was a very deep, deep experience for me. I realized that myself, I was entering the world in a very reactive way, who actually came to the possibility that acting was about seeing the world from a totally alive and awake part of ourselves. I hadn't found a method that would take me to the next place that made sense in my instrument. Can you find that thought process on the spot? That's what flexible space is. Do you feel how emotionally she's trying to win them over? Not interested. I'm gonna tell you what you want. Yeah. This work is rigorous. It is for the actor who is willing to go the distance. I'm interested in taking actors to the place where they can actually feel a sensation that they did not know was possible and to love the fact that, oh, isn't that great? That's why I move this way, right? Or that's why I like standing on this side of a person, or that's why I'm afraid of this. Get to know those and love those. Okay, we're all out here, all right? When you're ready, go in the closet and shut the door and start. And just say it in there. You have to do it in there. Through a series of scenarios, which I have actors write, and perform based on their own lives, we're able to tap into those things. And gradually through meeting them, those will start moving. There's sort of this like micro and macro, right? There's a lot of the philosophy that comes along with this work. The spell can go over here, the passion can go over here, the stability can go over here, the mobility can go over here. Everything is somewhere. Does that confuse the hell out of you? It's not for everybody. Really, it is not. It's for those actors who want to go the distance, who have the nerve. That's not always joyful, sometimes it's painful, but so what? People sometimes roll their eyes when I say this work is not intellectual. There are vocabulary words that we have in this technique. Weight, space, time, flow, inner attitudes, a dream, awake near, mobile, all, the, all, all of these things, yeah, that sounds pretty intellectual, what on earth do those mean? But, but, but what I say is, these are new words. It's a new language. What we do is we take the word and we work towards the sensation. Because I can hear a word like dabbing, and I know what that is. I know what dabbing is. I know what gliding is. Once I began to study with him in earnest, my instruments is so happy. And I'm just so grateful to be able to come back to the work and to be able to have a vision of participating in the craft again. The best of the American techniques teach you to have truth from the inner, to fall down to onto who you are honestly unencumbered and to come from there. But you never get to become, become somebody else. Is it possible for an actor to live truthfully 
in every given circumstance, and also to transform to the place where they are unrecognizable. That's what this work is about. That's what it's about. It's as authentic and uh, complicated as life is. You know, that characters are as complex as life is. You get it from every part of yourself. Just like you get every person from every part of yourself. In the work, we get it through the, through the body, through the sensing. You get it through, you do get it through the brain, through comprehension, and it's exciting. You get it through intuiting, through deciding, through time, through knowledge that's in your brain that you don't have to think about, right? From the past, oh yes, the, the, that happened in my past and bring it into the future. You get it through emotion. You get it through anger. You get it through love. And you get it through combinations of all of those things, which is really what the work is too. How do you get it? What is your portal to the world? The portal to the work means you get it from all aspects of yourself. <laughs> that's great. That's terrific. That's terrific. Okay. That's very good. Everything is movement, and everything is revealed in movement. And, and, and she went close to her. Yeah. She went straight from a dream to mobility. Yeah. What is of interest to me, and has always been interest to me, is what is the relationship between the inner and the outer life? The movement between the inner and the outer is, in fact, the work.